Well, welcome back to the channel, everybody. And uh, it's March. It's super hot here in the UK, which can mean only one thing. It's time for me to reveal my new crash helmet. So uh, sit back, relax, and roll the intro. So, I said in a previous uh, video that I was going to get a second helmet for exactly this eventuality. So when the weather gets hot, I don't want a full face, I want a bit more air going around. I don't know if it's going to make any difference to the vlogging, if it will upset the, uh, the sound. However, I thought, no, I'm going to do it. So, without further ado, let's morph into my new helmet. And there you have it. This is the new helmet. It's an O'Neill. It's a motocross helmet. How mad is this? A bit controversial, I suppose. What made you go for a motocross helmet, Jim? Well, I was looking at the dual sport helmets originally, and I uh, couldn't really see any that would uh, facilitate me sticking a camera on the front. And then obviously I came across uh, this one in the uh, in the shop in JNS at Braintree. Went to uh, it's quite cheap and uh, yeah, gold standard. So I thought I'll try this one. I've set the camera up. I'm hoping that the audio isn't too terrible. It's nice and airy though. Oh, and the great thing about this is as well, if I don't want to use the goggles, because obviously you get a bit of a sweat on even with the goggles. I can just wear my sunglasses underneath instead, so I can uh, swap the goggles out. And they're pretty cool looking goggles, aren't they? I've got to, I've got to say, the goggles look amazing. But uh, yeah, so I can swap the goggles out if I want, and uh, yeah, just wear my sunglasses. So that was my reasoning, because like, the weather is just so hit and miss in the UK at the minute. Like I said, it has gone in the sun at the minute here. It's March, it is absolutely ready to get a sweat on. But the wind, there's a bit of a chill in the wind. It's not quite spring yet. So, uh, yeah, this is your ideal job, uh, opportunity to uh, check out uh, the crash helmet. So this is it. This is the new one I'm going to wear in the summer. I haven't retired the black one completely. I do have... Uh, oh, dear, I was going to let the cat out of the bag then. I might as well now. I've said it. I uh, do have another full face that I've uh, recently purchased. And um, I'll do a reveal on that one so at some point. But I'll save that for later on in the year. But uh, yes, I'm hoping as long as the audio isn't completely destroyed, it's lovely because I'm getting all that cold air around me, around my chin, in through here. Oh, it's lovely. It's absolutely amazeballs. I was a bit dubious about the sun visor, if that would be a bit of an issue with it uh, catching the wind but I've got obviously I've got a, a big screen on the front of this bike and I've got like an extra bit as well and so far doesn't to be seem to be making any difference whatsoever seems okay uh, not any issues and I did put and I found that it's uh, it cuts out obviously that's what it's for isn't it it's cut out the sun <laughs> talk about talk teach uh, tell the obvious but yeah so uh, when the sun's up there it does a great job of cutting that out as well so so far so good the helmet itself is a little bit heavier than my my full face and uh, yeah my only my only big concern with it so far will be is the audio coming out okay so uh, we shall see but I think uh, on long journeys in the summer this is going to be yeah, ideal I have found though uh, it's obviously a new helmet um, is putting it on I've just got, I've got a bit of a sweaty head, squeezing my head into that just a minute ago was an absolute faff. But, I got my head in there in the end. Um, also, this is double D-clip, so it's not your uh, ratchet job. You have to double D-clip it and then you've got a, um, a little button that you can secure whatever's left over of the loop. So, uh, yeah, so far so good, I'll let you know. But overall, doesn't seem too bad so far. Seems to be doing the trick. So obviously with the GoPro, I had to be a bit creative and mounting it on this helmet. And obviously the way that it's angled, I'm hoping that the angle isn't too bad. 
Um, I've got my GoPro Hero 4 on at the minute and I've um, set it, I've got one of those screens that you stick on the back and I've set it for upside down aspect ratio. So uh, that's the only difference I've had to do regarding helmet wise with my full face I can just have it set as normal, I haven't got a faff around changing the aspect ratios. But with this one, yeah, I've had to put it uh, upside down. So uh, hopefully, touch wood, it's all coming through great. Got an update for you as well with the big toe. Big toe still sore. Poor little thing. It's, uh, gear changes are, could be a little bit emotional every now and then. But apart from that, um, I think I'm healing well. Remember kids, whatever you do when you're in the gym, make sure you rack those weights properly when you're putting them away. Don't drop them on your toes. It's, uh, they tend to break your toes. So we're up to motorway speeds and like I said I haven't reviewed the footage yet. If there's uh, if it's unworkable, I'll put that up on the screen here somewhere. But this is motorway speeds here in the UK, 70 miles an hour and seems to be all fine. I mean I can hear my um, I've obviously got my Bluetooth connected, I can hear my music getting played through my uh, phone, I can hear the sat nav talking to me as well and uh, all's good so far. So, with that being said, I'm going to end that video here. So, like I always say, if you like the videos, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, smash that red subscribe button. And if you are a subscriber, hit the notification bell. That way, every time this idiot uploads a video, you get notified. And that, my friends, is Jim Diesel out. Yeah.